Mr. Fox Hayes once said, I believe the good that men do will live long after they're gone. These words represent a calling for Kentucky farmer and hunter Austin Musselman. He has dedicated more than half his life into transforming his family's three-generation cattle farm into a homegrown sanctuary for wildlife. Join us as we follow Austin and his team and watch them reap the rewards sown by decades of hard work, dedication, and love for one piece of land. Consistently harvesting giant whitetails is an accomplishment in itself. To do it on your own land and to grow one of the largest whitetails ever harvested in the state of Kentucky is in a league of its own. These are their stories and this is how they do it. Welcome to Homegrown. I met Austin about eight years ago now through my uh, older brother who runs his sport fish boat. Um, I'm part of the crew on the boat and uh, been full-time working for Austin for about three years now, a little over three years. Like I said, I work for him. I work on a sport fish boat back in Florida there in Palm Beach. We do a lot of traveling, the Bahamas, uh, do a lot of sailfish tournaments back in Florida. So I've grown up in the ocean my whole life and this is just a, a world that I'd never really explored before. And he, he opened my eyes to it and, and I, I don't I don't think that's something you can ever really truly say thank you to someone for and they introduce you to something like this. Um, but, you know, like I said, fishing has always been my life, mostly on the ocean. Um, every kind of sport fish down there you imagine we, we target. A uh, ton of fun doing it, but I gotta tell you, now this time of year, I look forward to coming up here more than I do fishing. Um, it's, it, it's pretty unreal. We have some history with this deer, Loppy Nine. He's a, actually an eight-year-old deer. He's a real old buck that, you know, it's been his time for a little while. He's, he's, he's been a homebody though. He, his range is not too big, and that area we went in and hunted, uh, that, that was his home. Got in a little early, uh, about 3.30. Had some deer come in real quickly, and from that point on, and their deer were just pouring in. starting to get pretty low light. We got another 20, 30 minutes of shooting light still. And I hear this branch snap out ahead of us in front of the field. And I can see this branch get ripped down from 15 feet off the ground and see this big frame turn and look at us and like, oh man, it's like that, that's him, that's our deer. Look at that. Is 
eight. Eight. Eight year old deer. Yeah, our neighbors uh, have been picking them up too, and we all agreed that this was a deer we all wanted to harvest. He's been around the block and done his thing. Called him Loppy Nine because he's always had that kind of loppy offset rack, huh? Yeah. This is the best year he's always been a nine. Yeah. Pretty neat, Dane. He's uh, incredible. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you guys.